and uh, controversial detentions uh, could soon be commonplace in the U.S. And now with the National Defense Authorization Act coming into effect this Thursday, uh, the law that many fear spells the end of American democracy, uh, grants the government and the military unprecedented powers to detain U.S. citizens indefinitely without trial. All this is happening against the backdrop of ramped up anti-Iranian rhetoric from Washington. A film director, Sean Stone, who recently made headlines for publicly embracing Islam, has told us here at RT the timing is no coincidence. My ultimate point is to prevent or stop what I think is we are walking into World War III at the moment, between Syria being destabilized and Iran is on its border being threatened by Israel and America. Uh, to me, it's, we're, we're in a very dangerous time, and we don't recognize what the consequences will be, not only, not only regionally, but to the world. What's happening is we are now in a state of martial law and war uh, globally. NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, that Obama has called for and signed, even American citizens can now be uh, targeted by the military, picked up and imprisoned indefinitely without civilian trial, thus throwing out our due process, our habeas corpus clauses. So we are now in the state of martial law. Everything is now in conditions for a, a total war state. I mean, McCain called for the, the, the whole America becoming part of the so-called battlefield. America is now a battlefield. The whole earth is a battlefield. So rather than trying, I'm worried that what's being done is that rather than trying to address our economic, our continued economic uh, depression, Mm -hmm. and the reforms necessary domestically, what we're trying to do then is create a martial law state using, using Iran as a terrorist enemy or threat. So you see everything is now in, in, in motion as a pretext that you can go to martial law here and war abroad. And obviously the war abroad has tremendous consequences, not only because if you attack Iran, Hezbollah and Hamas can unleash on Israel, and which then brings America and potentially Russia into the equation. So this is like, we're in a horrible situation and people are not being educated as to what's 